So we have the population of a town increased. Uh, now there are some dates in here that are not relevant to what we actually have to compute. And I'm gonna cross those dates out because they're just numbers in there that we don't actually need in this problem. If there was maybe three or four different dates and they were talking about going from one date to the other date, we'd have to keep track. But for us, we don't need it here. Now it increased from 3,850 to 5,550. So we could ask how many um, people did it increase by? How many people more? So we'll just do subtraction. 550, 3850. And we'll subtract. So 0 minus 0 is 0, 5 minus 5. We have 55 minus 38 here. Uh, oh boy. Uh, good thing I have the calculator. 17. All right. I was about to say that. 1700. So this is how many people more, and that's what's called the absolute increase. It's the number of people more. So that'll be 1700, and we'll check. When you are doing these problems, you can submit one answer before you move on to the second part. You want to be able you can't do this on quiz or a test, but on the homeworks you can submit single parts and it only counts your tries for the one part. It doesn't take off your tries for the other part. All right, relative increase, that's a percentage. So we had a start. Thirty-eight fifty, and when it's compared to the percent increase. There's a start and then the end. 550. All right. So we already know the difference. We subtracted them. Difference is 1700. So we want to know the relative increase. So we take the increase and we divide it by the original amount. That's the increase, this is amount. And I'm just writing amount here because it's in the same units. They're both in counting people. So these are all how many people right here. So they're all amounts of people. Now we have the original amount is 3850. And the increase amount is 1700. And you do this division, I will need a calculator for this. Whoa, what happened? 1700 divided by 3850, 44. I'm only going to keep, let's see. 44 point, I'll move the decimal place, 155, okay. So that is the relative increase. Uh, it might be easy to think of something doubles in size, you would, uh, it would be increasing by 100%, so you'd have the same amount as w what it started with. Uh, but you just wanna think the increase amount divided by the original amount. All right, we want to answer this as a percentage, it says over here. So we need to move the decimal place over twice. So we have 44.155, and that's in percent. You may need to keep more decimals for this, uh, for the accuracy here, but we're going to look, and we get the same thing. So you can, of course, keep more decimals, but I don't want to keep switching back and forth to the calculator. 44.155. 